Underwater human-robot interaction, or UHRI, differs from its terrestrial counterpart for a number of environmental reasons. We will describe briefly these reasons and introduce a method to partially offset these domain challenges for creating higher fidelity interaction scenarios. I'm Dmitry Kutsky and this is Autonomous Robotic Realignment for Face-to-Face -face Underwater Human-Robot Interaction. The underwater domain lacks many of the benefits of the terrestrial domain such as high fidelity wireless communication due to severe attenuation of electromagnetic energy, degraded acoustics from exhalations through dive regulators, reduced visibility from sediment, and inconsistent lighting from optical scattering and absorption. These factors make UHRI exceedingly challenging. To subvert these domain challenges, we argue UHRI is best when the human and robot are face to face, which maximizes the likelihood of successful information exchange. Traditional visual servoing methods rely on a set point to guide the system toward the optimal configuration. This requires an estimate of the distance between a feature point and the robot's camera frame. We utilize sparse stereo triangulation to estimate distance because the underwater domain poses extreme challenges to block matching algorithms for dense reconstruction. This is because of the relative lack of saliency within the diver's silhouette, which yields many mismatches in pixel correspondences. Instead, we triangulate camera frame key points from human pose estimates. We compute a body fix frame that we anti-align with the camera frame. Finally, we project these points onto the image plane, which yields a set point for visual servo control. Using our method, we recover face-to-face -face alignment from non-standard body poses. Ultimately, our method shows promise for allowing more natural UHRI by allowing the robot to come to the human.